Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw the Lewis dot structure for uh, phosphine. So uh, here we go. This phosphine is going to be PH3. All right, and that's going to give us uh, five valence electrons from the phosphorus plus three hydrogens each with one valence electron for a total of eight valence electrons. Okay, and uh, because we, we know that hydrogens can only hold two electrons total, so really this should be a pretty simple structure. We have the uh, phosphorus in the center surrounded by the three hydrogens. We can go ahead and single bond all of those hydrogens to the center phosphorus, and that's two, four, six electrons out of the eight total. So we need to have these two more electrons to add up to eight, and we'll put those right here on the central phosphorus, and that's gonna be our final structure. Um, let me go ahead and check that by calculating the uh, formal charges. So the formal charge on the central phosphorus is going to be equal to the five valence brought in minus one, two, three bonds minus one, two non-bonding electrons for a formal charge of zero. And then the formal charge on the hydrogen each one, and notice that they all have one single bond, so they're all the same setup, which means all of their formal charges will be equal. That equals uh, one electron brought in, minus one bond on each hydrogen, minus zero non-bonding for a formal charge of zero. Multiply that by three, because there are three of them. Add this up, it still gives you zero overall, which is what we need, because this is not a charged uh, compound, all right? Now, in terms of shape, if you look at this structure, this is going to end up being an AX3 E1 structure, meaning there's a central atom surrounded by three peripheral atoms, and the central atom has one non-bonding pair. So one, two, three peripherals and one non-bonding pair. When you have an AX3 E1 type structure, that means that the shape is gonna be what's called trigonal, pyramidal, Okay, and when you have a trigonal pyramidal shape, the bond angles are going to be approximately 107 degrees. All right, um, in terms of hybridization, looking at the central phosphorus, there's one, two, three, four electron groups or four put, uh, potential bonding sites. So we need four hybrid orbitals. So we're gonna go with sp3 hybrid. 1s and 3p's, that's a total of four. And because of the fact that we have this non-bonding pair of electrons, that's going to make this a polar compound. All right, that is pretty much it for this one. If you have any questions, please let me know. And thanks for watching.